Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Arfia and today's video is going to be a quick and easy goth makeup tutorial on this eye look. So today's makeup tutorial is going to be a very easy and basic starting point of goth makeup. Now what we're going to create today is the look that you saw previously in this video. I'm going to keep it extremely simple for you guys. Um, and I'm actually gonna talk in this tutorial, which is not something I often do. Um, if you do heavy eye makeup, which I always do for my god looks, then I would highly recommend starting with the eyes, cleaning up the rest later and then doing the base. But there is a lot of people who reverse that order. I personally always do eyes first and then the rest of my face. So what I always do is use a primer. I use the Urban Decay Primer Potion and this is just for me personally, the best one. So you want to spread out the primer using one of your fingers and just go entirely over your lid up to your brow and also a little bit underneath because for this look we're also going to apply eyeshadow there. What you then need is a neutral shade, so a base that we're going to use to blend out the products over afterwards. I always go for the same one, this is So Goes My Nation from Notoriously Morbid, but you can also use pressed ones, it doesn't really matter as long as it is close to your natural skin tone. And I always like to use a big fluffy brush to pat this all over the lid and blend it out. So this is what this then looks like on me. Now I have a weird order, I first do this and then I start filling in my eyebrows because I like to see how my eyebrows sit to know how far away I'm gonna blend my eyeshadows. And what I use for my eyebrows is a matte black eyeshadow and a eyebrow brush by Real Techniques. This is called Bloody Awful Poet from Notoriously Morbid. And I just go through my brows with this brush. Now I do still have my natural brows, I know a lot of gods don't, and they draw on eyebrows. I would love to be able to do that one day, um, but for now I prefer keeping my actual eyebrows. So I like to kind of match them. I know it's not entirely possible, but I try. There we go, I think that's close enough in my opinion and if needed I can always correct it afterwards with some concealer. Now because we're gonna do a black smoky eye, of course we're gonna need black. I'm gonna use the same black I have right now, but for most goth looks I like to blend out my black into another color. Now if you don't want to use any other color really than black, I would still recommend taking a grey color just to blend out the edges. Now because I love reds, <laughs> I'm gonna use red for this. And the color I'm using is Boundary Issues from Notoriously Morbid. This is a nice, really pretty red. And the type of brush you wanna use is one of these fluffy brushes. So it's a really soft brush and you will actually really diffuse the color. And I like to do this before I start actually applying the black so this blends into the black more easy. So what you wanna do is take a tiny bit of color at a time and just start applying it on your crease. So if you would kind of look straight ahead where the line of your eye forms, so where the color actually goes out of your eye, where you can see it. When your eyes are just looking straight ahead, that's where you want to apply this color. And you just want to blend it. So you don't want to apply too much, you just want to go a little bit at a time and just make sure that it's nice and diffused. And it doesn't really matter if you go onto your lid because we will be covering that up afterwards. And then do the same on the other side. I like to alternate between the two sides so that I kind of get the same results. So you just want to make tiny kind of circular swiping motions to diffuse the pigment and make it look nice. So you just want to drag the shadow a tiny bit from right underneath your eye upwards and this will create a nicer shape um, that kind of follows your natural eye shape. You want to do the same on the other side, of course. Now because I also want this red underneath my eyes, I'm going to use a smaller brush in the same color. 
and I'm gonna drag this along my lower lash line. Because I want my black to be very opaque, I'm gonna use a NYX Jumbo Pencil. Now you could use any cold pencil from any other brand. And what I first like to do is line my waterline and then from the top drag it outwards. So first of all, waterline. And I like to gently pull on my eyelid to drag it downward to do this. It just makes it a lot easier. Now the bottom is always easier than the top. Uh, for the top, what I like to do is just Stick the eyeliner pencil in there and just smudge it along the lashes. Now usually I would hate when this happens, when you kind of go over and smudge on your eyelid, but for today's look that's actually what we need. So just follow your lashes and drag the eyeliner next to it. This is a chunky pencil, if you have a smaller one it's gonna be a lot easier. And then of course do the same on the other side and you can already see the big difference that this is making. So now that we have um, the liner in place, kind of, we're gonna actually just take it and apply it to the lid. Now you want to start more or less in the center and drag it along your lash line. Now you don't want to go too much into the inner eye corner because we will be smudging this. So it's better that you apply it mostly onto your lid and then afterwards we're going to smudge it out anyways. So now that you look really funny, you're going to either take your finger, I like using my finger for this, or a brush to blend this out. If like me you use your finger it's gonna work a lot easier honestly um, if you don't then use a brush and just kind of pet it out so what i like to do is kind of tap and smudge it out a little bit and just generally go up to where we applied the red it doesn't have to go in the red just near the edge and you want to make sure that if you're using a brush that you don't blend out the product too much otherwise you just reapply a tiny bit and then you start again Again for this side. And for this I feel the fingers are like the easiest and the best option. Do keep makeup remover wipes near you when you're doing this with your fingers. And this will create a more opaque base for the black eyeshadow to stick onto. Next we're gonna add the black eyeshadow on top of this. And you want to start with a rather small brush at first and start near the lashes. So you want to really pat the black on. We're not going to blend anything just yet. We're just going to set the eyeliner we just applied with the black eyeshadow. And as you can see, I have fallout and this is the main reason why I don't do my base before my eyes because of the fallout. So just pat on the black eyeshadow onto the area where we just applied the base. And this is gonna make the black really opaque. And if like me, you like having some black underneath your eye as well, now is also your chance. If you have a small enough brush that you can just go underneath your eye, do that. And because I don't like using super big brushes for this, I'm just using a accent brush. And you just want to drag this along the lower lashes where you've applied your eyeliner next to the red and just blend it out. And this is going to really intensify the look. As you can see from this side to this side already, it's making a big difference. And then we're gonna actually blend the black into the color that we applied earlier. So with that blending brush we're gonna apply some black along the edges and just blend everything together. So you want to use only a little bit, a tiny tiny bit of product and then just start blending it. Um, most people use circular motions to blend. I first start by doing kind of more a swipey motion before I start actually blending. And this is something that can take a lot of time to get it just right, but I promise you it's not as hard as it seems. If 
like me, you're using an accent color and you see that it's kind of vanishing, then it is time to take out that color again with a fluffy brush. Apply just a tiny bit along the edge and just start working it into the color you just applied. I would not recommend doing this if you want just a black look. If you want just a black look, then you can just keep smoking out the black, as you can see on this side, and that's going to be the black smoky eye look. And finally, I'm just going to go over this again with the blending brush just to smooth everything out and that is basically my eyes almost completely done. Now usually I would apply fake lashes, today I'm not going to because this is an easy look. So what I'm gonna do now is curl my lashes with a lash curler. And then take out a mascara. I use waterproof mascara, you can use any mascara you like. And if you don't wear anything else on your face, I know I used to not wear any foundation, etc. Then now you're almost done. The one thing I still like to do afterwards is just take a makeup remover wipe and just go slightly underneath where my makeup ends because I tend to smudge a little bit and have some fallout. So I just want to clean that up. Also, if you want a neater line here of makeup, you can also do that using a makeup remover wipe. Now we're almost done. The one thing I actually forgot to do, because this is not scripted or anything, is to do the inner eye corners. I actually like to use the base shade that I used at first. You can also use a highlight shade there just to make it pop a little more. But for now, I'm just gonna apply a neutral shade. And you just wanna kinda drag it a little bit into the eyeshadows that you just applied, but not too much. And again, if you feel like you've done too much, just go in with your blending brush again and just blend it all out. So now I've finished my makeup by putting on foundation, contouring, highlighting, setting everything and then also done my lips. But the main focus for this makeup tutorial were the eyes, which is actually a very easy look. Now, of course, you can build on this look any way you want. You can add eyeliner, you can add lashes, you can add other details to your face, you can draw crosses, lines, dots, anything you want. So I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial, the small video I created for it. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. In the description box, you will find all of the products that I've used for this look, as well as the rest of my face, so you can see all of the products that I personally use. Should you still have any questions at all, feel free to ask in the comment section below. Also, if there's any other makeup tutorials you want me to create, let me know there as well. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I make new videos every week and I would love to have you for every single one of them. So thank you for watching and I will see you soon. Bye!